Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. No, you didn't lose any money. You didn't. Where's my phone at? No, you didn't lose any money in the stock market. Thursday and Fridays, which what they really call small market or market corrections. No, you didn't lose any money. You lost value. You lost value. So it doesn't matter we're referring to last week, next month, a couple of months, some years, a year from now. What we need to focus on is the long term. So let me break this down. If you bought four stocks, each stock was $50, okay? So you spent approximately 200 bucks, okay, $200. And then for that day or that week, your stocks went all the way down to $40 and you bought them for 50. So automatically you're like, oh man, I, I lost, you know, 40 bucks this week, $10 per stock. No, you didn't. Your portfolio or if those are your only stocks, or if that's your only stock with those shares, then you have not lost any money, but your stocks, or rather your shares, has lost value. What is the difference? If you sell your stocks at a lower price than what you bought them, then yes, you lost money. See, let me get this out really quickly. The only way you lose money when it comes to stocks and shares, and we know how that goes, right? You have IBM as a stock, with IBM, you have four shares. We got it. Stocks and shares are, 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 are the same thing. You just use them in different terminologies when you're explaining it. That's another one. I'm off of it. So you have 40 stocks. You bought them at 50. You pay $200. They drop down to $40. And if you just hold your stock, chances are, okay, that it's going to be beyond 50 and you will make value with those stocks or within your portfolio you only lose money on two occasions only on two occasions let's spend that's an old school song anyway man if you sell your stocks at a lower price than what you bought them one then two that stock bottoms out and or never bounces back Okay, take for instance, I bought some penny stocks and I bought three dollars worth of penny stocks. Now, even though they said in penny stocks, they were increments or small fractions of pennies. And I had like, I don't know, 300 stocks on um, 300 shares of this one stock worth three bucks. They bought them out. It was some sort of Chinese gold mining company. I shouldn't have went with that. I didn't even do my research. I just figured I took a gamble. And people say investing is not gamble. I support that. I've also preached and teach that. But when you don't do your research, what I've always tell you, do your research. Look at trends. Look at analysis and blah, blah, blah. You know how I get. It's a gamble because you don't know what you're investing in. But, hey, we blow $3 walking down the street buying lemonade. They do that anymore. But the point I'm making is this. I want you to get out of the mind frame that you are losing money or you have lost money because a day, two days, or a week in the stock market went bad and now you lost money. That is not the case, Ross World. That is not the case. You only lose money when you sell your stock at a lower price than what you bought. One. Two, the stock bottoms out and never bounces back or never reaches the point at which you bought it at. Take, for instance, if I'm not mistaken, Snapchat. Snapchat came out from the IPO anywhere between $22 and $24. And then it has been declining ever since. I, the last time I looked at it, I want to say, woo, it was like $14, $15. People lost money because... If you was following the Facebook trend, you're like, oh man, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, etc. People bought tons and tons of Snapchat stock 
and it hasn't bounced back. Now, could Snapchat do something revolutionary, innovative, to boost that app, to boost their platform, to create a better design, or, or, or to input different, uh, I don't know how people put in ears and noses, whatever that's called, emojis, or I don't know what they call it, but you know what I'm getting at, Ross World, and boost their stock. To $26. Now again. You don't lose money. Until you sell. At a lower price than what you bought it at. Um, I called. The bluff. On Snapchat. Saying I was going to invest. And I didn't think it was a good idea. Because prior to them releasing the IPO. Where people could buy it. Facebook already. Implemented. The technology which helped Snapchat to be where they were. All those little, you get them, figurines you put on yourself. Facebook said, okay, we're going to input this. We're going to update our messenger and our Facebook interface in order to really kill Snapchat. Now, granted, there's still a lot of people on Snapchat, but no one's spending money on Snapchat. People spend money on Facebook for one reason or another. So, Recap, very, very easy. If you're new to investing, understand the only way you lose money with a stock, if you bought the stock at 50 and you're going to sell it at 40, then yes, you're losing $10 per stock. But if you wait and you hold on nine times out of 10, depending on the volatility and the history of that stock, it may bolster back up. And the value of the stock or your portfolio is going to raise. Secondly, that stock never rebounds to the amount that you paid it at, or it bottoms out. This is Ross World, where common sense in layman terms, I try to break it down, guys, because it ain't, it ain't that hard. They be speaking about all these other terms, equity and percentages. Listen, I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to decipher it. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to give it to you. I'm out.